begin. Uh, so this is circuit diagram for the project I am drawing. So LCD to here we can code programming. Reset button. If something happens, you can reset the code. Means in the loop it will restart from the starting. Like it will go to the uh, initial at the zero zero edge. Okay. If it is in the loop, then we have power supply. You can add here. Then this is the ground. Ground. Then five volt. Then contrast is there. One kilo ohm resistor. This one. Okay. You can change the contrast of the LCD. Like the written word will be lighter or darker. If you want. Okay. If you want to change. Then RF will be going to seven. Then RW ground enable eight four pin no connection D four nine ten eleven and twelve. Okay, so nine ten eleven twelve and these are the data pins four bit mode we are using. So we will be using four bit here. Then plus and minus for the backlight. Then here we have piezo. Then here we have buzzer and four number we have servo motor. And then RX TX we have Wi-Fi, uh, 2.4 gigahertz one and ESP8266 its number and RX TX will be reverse. Okay, and uh, that's it. And it will be given power supply by this particular pin, 3 volt, 3.3 volt. It's a low power device. Anything missing? No, everything is done. And here's the circuit for 7805. It's just the input you give, and 5 volt you will get here. 6 to 36 volt you can provide on this I'm talking about. When capacitor I have added just to smooth the circuit in. So Arduino Uno is used here. Okay. And uh, servo motor is used here. Then we have Wi-Fi ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Then we have piezoelectric module which is 35 mm in diameter. Then we have buzzer. Okay. And then this is a power supply. External power supply also you can use. It's not like you are connecting this project to PC then it is working. No. External power supply. This is a point you can use. Okay. Then we have LCD 16 cross 2. And then this is the power hub module. And this module how it works I will tell. If you put 6 to 36 volt it will always generate or you can say regulate 5 volt. 5 volt and ground you will get here. And uh, using that it is going to this ground supply module which is again hub for 5 volt if you give 5 volt uh, ground here and 5 volt here every pin will get 5 volt and ground and after that whichever module need 5 volt we will give through this and uh, the module which need 3 volt 3.3 we are giving it through this point 3.3 point that's it okay and if table is shaking that it is gen uh, generating some voltage because the piezoelectric is any vibration it sends it uh, send the uh, output here okay also we can use four sensor this is for vibration That's also sense. and this is a four sensor fsr four sensitive register according to weight it can be triggered like 1 kg 2 kg 20 kg torque is there uh, and then it will generate the same output so first step is to install this application which is known as your remote x5 just install it. Okay. That's it. Just install it. Once it's done, just open it. Agree. Press yes. Cloud server because it's a IoT project. Device token. I've already copied. Paste. Okay. Connect. That's it. Now we don't have to do anything now. Okay. Just keep it aside. Now next thing is. Just open your uh, this hotspot. Okay. And then. Write these settings. Okay. Project. No space after T and P should be small. Every letter should be small. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and password and 2.4 gigahertz should be the bandwidth and then save it. That's it. And uh, your project will be automatically connected like this. That's it. That's the connecting part. Okay, about the project. Now, next thing is 
connecting to serial monitor this is additional part you don't need this in this this is for debugging that this project is connected to this project one two three four five six seven password after that just wait for 10 seconds and then this will be connected to your app okay now it is connected now we will see you on phone just open the phone okay now we will connect it the previous one step what we have followed and you will receive the GUI okay now GUI is received and these characters they are sending to the cloud okay and uh, now if I press this so it should make one sound okay like this so this is the sound and this is for button that this should move like this okay so this is IOT it is controlling through cloud value is more than uh, 800 so it will trigger in the code I have written it so it added will be sent okay so that's the point next one is your uh, this thing camera you can also add camera additionally what we have to do in camera just put this here 5 volt and ground here okay and one light will glow here and then go to your hotspot as I have generated this same project and password I have added in the code of this and this both then you have to copy the IP address this IP address you have to copy and on your website like this and enter it that's it go to here and uh, little much let's make it better like uh, this such camera and start streaming and then you can see yourself like this okay this way it will go you can see yourself okay like this so this is the camera output okay that's it so the real practical is like so if someone is trying to enter your home or someone is at your floor mat so I am um, right now I will be showing it on the top otherwise it will be hidden in the uh, below this mat so if that happens okay so at this application window you will see notification is there then if you see that person is your friend okay so then you can open this through IOT app so you can see here like this okay and if you don't know that person you can call police and take action as required okay so now we will see the code so this is the code for the project LCD we have to connect 7 8 9 10 11 12 these are the pin numbers of LCD and uh, behind this 7 number LCD RS will be there so means LCD RS connection is going to Arduino pin number 7 then enable is going to 8 then 9 10 11 12 are the digital pins I am talking about these pins this one these blue pins okay first one is your ground and VCC to turn on this device last one is the LED which glow in this L LCD LED backlight this one LED backlight and this space will be empty like in between only 4 bit mode we are using 9 10 11 12 to write the things then we have another things like password we have to enter like this you can change it then this is a cloud token then we have these variables for remote xy app then servo motor is connected to a4 and uh, when project start it's written uh, anti theft detection system if you turn uh, like please start the project and the letters will be like that okay like this okay coming back piezo a0 then a1 is the output buzzer we have connected here a1 then loop will be there like project is always in loop so it will always read a0 that is a piezo and write there so 700 is the point which i have written here when it's triggered that it will send a notification on your phone and on lcd and the buzzer will make sound so the thing is like someone is trying to enter your home so 
if uh, he or she may be doing something so one alert will be there other people outside can see by this buzzer is making sound what this person is trying to do there okay like someone is it at your door so what is doing there right if he knows you so he will or she will enter or call you so through calling you can easily turn this uh, uh, door lock open and close okay through iot that's the point then alert then uh, remote xyd text are sending on your it's sending to your app okay then the door close and notifications are there hello everyone we are from zara technologies new delhi india we develop research based software and hardware projects and products globally zara technologies has the largest collection of projects on our website you can get services like unique engineering projects science projects mtech phd thesis guidance self learning kits ready made projects hardware components drone related services software and simulations research paper writing and publications in top journals and conferences we also provide patent related services so to upgrade your knowledge you can join our channel for more details please check the description thank you guys have a nice day